Tonight, the guests with stars in their eyes are Craig Rutherford from Sunderland, from Taunton, Somerset, Samantha Belshaw, Freddie King from Totten, Southampton, Caroline Lowe from Lee in Lancashire, and also from Lancashire, Blenley's Leslie Snape. Now, here's your host, Matthew Kelly. Welcome to Stars in Their Eyes, the only show where you can put on your best togs, jump in a limo and go for a drive down the glitzy boulevards and tree-lined avenues of the wonderful world of music. From LA funk to Northern Soul, from Britpop to Nashville country, we've got a bit of everything. But surprisingly few sounds from my own record collection. No Australian sheep shearing songs, no Norwegian Eurovision entries and absolutely nothing that features a South American nose flute. From that, I might sound like a bit of a musical genius, but no. When it comes to the world music map, I have trouble finding my way to the happy shopper. <laughs> However, one group of people who don't have that problem are tonight's five-star guests, who are heading full pelt down the motorway of success. So let's get this show on the road as we welcome star guest number one. My name's Freddie King. I'm age 29. I come from a village called Totten, which is outside Southampton. We've got the town one side of us. We've got the sea the other side of us. In the New Forest, so we're quite lucky, really. I live with uh, my girlfriend, Tina, and we have three children. Daniel's seven, and Oliver and Bradley, the twins, are eight months old. My girlfriend, Tina, she applied for everything and sent the tape off of me. Went from there, really. The person I'm going to be tonight is originally from Liverpool, and he was a big star in the 50s and 60s. I think he had a distinctive style. My friends and family are all very excited. They can't wait to see me on the television. He sings to his little ones to stop them crying, but tonight he's singing for us. Please welcome Freddie King. <laughs> oh, look at those children. Aren't they lovely? They are, they are. How do you think they'll react when they see you? Well, a little bit too young to react at the moment, but uh, Daniel, he's gone to school. He's told all his friends, the teachers. Yeah. Oh, it's been brilliant. He'd be thrilled, wouldn't he? Yeah, definitely, definitely. How did you react yourself when you heard that you got on the show? I was just completely shocked. Shocked. Really? Yeah. And what happens just, to you when you get shocked? I just, just went all silent and went about five or six different colours, <laughs> all sweating and all. Oh, thank you for that image. That's a... <laughs> really very attractive. What are you looking forward to on the show, most of all? Um, coming through these doors and finding the spotlight. Really? And, do you yeah. like the idea of the spotlight? Yeah, I do. You do, don't you? <laughs> I thought you did. You're a very big fan of this person that you're going to be, aren't you? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Well, let us know a little bit about this person. Um, he was about in the 50s, 60s. Uh, he went to school with Ringo Starr. And uh, the song that you're going to sing, yeah. when did this first come out? It came out in 1961. It reached number five in the hit parade. Really? Mm. Who are you going to be tonight, Freddie? Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Billy Fury. Billy Fury! <laughs> The pride of Southampton, but here is one of Liverpool's finest tonight singing live. Freddie King is Billy Fury.
Look at that. It's been doing that for two days. <laughs> had a great time, haven't you? I don't want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to. You might have to stay on. You don't know. <laughs> At the end of it, your children will go mad for that. Even the twins will be giving it the full goo-goos. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Freddie King as Billy Fury. <laughs> Now, you might think it's easy to come out here and be a star. Well, it's not. It's very tough. There's the lights, the cameras and the audience all to cope with. And if you don't believe me, try it yourselves. Turn to page 888 on Teletext and warble along to your heart's content. Go on, grab your granny, flash your lights on and off in the lounge and sing along with the sultry sounds of star guest number two. It's been a great year for me. As well as appearing on Stars in Their Eyes, I've just started a new job. My name's Caroline Lowe and I'm a garment maker at a factory in Lee. I make clothes for a, a large department store. I make the pieces that go on to dressing gowns, cuffs and belts. I really like my new job because I only have to work four and a half days a week. Everybody there is really friendly and a nice factory to work for as well. I live at home with my father. When I got the call to say that I was on the show, I just couldn't believe it. My hands were shaking. Uh, my stomach was turning and my dad walked in through the front door and he knew by the look on my face that it was that phone call. At the moment, the way I'm feeling, somebody needs to pinch me because I can't believe what's happened. She'll have us all in stitches. Please welcome Caroline Lowe. <laughs> He's a special man, your dad, isn't he, Caroline? Yeah, he's a very special dad. I'm going to dedicate this to him. This is for you, Dad! <laughs> is he out there now? Yeah. Oh, fabulous. Because <laughs> he was the one who discovered you could sing, wasn't he? Yeah. Um, I first started singing on his welding table in the back garden, singing all sorts of songs. <laughs> uh, what did you start off with? Uh, Grandma, we love you, is it? That one. Oh, lovely. <laughs> you've moved on from there, have yeah, you? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. Um, you've got a great musical background in your family, haven't you? Yeah, um, my dad was a singer when he was younger and he played the double bass. My brother's also a singer and my mum's cousin played the drums in status quo. You see, who could want for more in a musical background than your mum's cousin being status quo's drummer? So, uh, what do you admire about the person that you're going to be? Well, she's a northern lass like myself. She's a um, soulful singer. Mm -hmm. She also used to be a TV presenter. That's so how before, she started her career. Yeah, and she's had number one hits as well and everything, yeah, hasn't she? Yeah. So, I, I wonder who it could be. Perhaps you'd better tell us, can I? Well, tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Lisa Stansfield. Lisa Stansfield! A diva for the 90s. And tonight, singing live, Caroline Lowe is Lisa Stansfield! Home again. 
She smiles at him as she walks through the door. She wonders if it will be okay. Cause it's hard for her when he doesn't respond. He says, babe, you look a mess. You look down in that dress. It's just not like it used to be. Then she says, I may not be a lady, but I'm all woman from Monday to Sunday. I work harder than you know. I'm no classy lady, but I'm all woman. And this woman needs a little love to make her strong. Somebody very proud of that performance. Aside from your dad, obviously. Do you know who it'll be? Lisa Stansfield herself. <laughs> no, she watches the show all the time. She loves it. And she'll have loved that as well. And I, how are you feeling? Did you enjoy it? Very much, yeah. Yeah. Uh, all this and lovely teeth, too. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Caroline Lowe as Lisa Stansfield. <laughs> What an uplifting experience that was. And someone else who knows about uplifting experiences is star guest number three. All right, there. I'm Craig Rutherford. This is Sunderland, and I'm a forklift truck driver. I'm 24 years of age, and I've been working in a local supermarket for three years now. The job includes taking deliveries, taking pallets off the back of wagons, and I even get to put the rubbish out, which is one of the highlights of the day. Even though the job does become quite tedious at times, um, I suppose I've got to be grateful that I've got a job because they are pretty hard to come by these days. When my workmates found out I was going on Stars in the Rise, a few of them thought it was pretty much of a joke, basically because like, every time I sing, um, something bad happens, knocking beams down or goods falling off pallets, something like that, because I do get carried away when I start singing. I'm really over the moon I'm getting on Stars in the Rise, after all. It's not every day you get a chance like this, is it? When he sings, accidents may happen, so it's lucky our insurance is up to date. Please welcome Craig Rutherford. <laughs> now, when our office phoned your work to let you know that you, you were coming on the show, something very odd happened, didn't it? Yes, um, apparently um, well, my personal manager who took the call thought I'd applied for a job at Granada. So and they wouldn't put you through? No, that's right, yeah. Do you know wouldn't why? Because they don't want to let you go. <laughs> now, when you first sang, 
Tell us who you sang as. Well, Patsy Klein, actually. It was with my granddad at the local karaoke night, and it went down like the Titanic. <laughs> uh, you were Patsy Klein. Yeah. It's funny. You look like <laughs> that bloke from Scooby Doo, I think. Don't oh, really? That's what my little cousin <laughs> Dean says, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, we need some clues about the person that you're going to be. So, this person was in a group. That's right, yeah. Right. Now, tell us something else about the group, because there is something very important about this group that will be a big clue to you now. Yeah, well, the group was mainly known for one of its um, female members. Right. And there was something about this female member of the group. Well, she was a big, big... She was, she was a, a big, big bird. Yeah. So who are you going to be for us? Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Denny Doherty from Mamas and the Papas. Denny Doherty! With that great 60s California sound tonight, singing live, Ray Rutherford is Denny Doherty! <laughs> you are, you're a hippie, aren't you, really? Yeah. One out of your time. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic, Matthew. Thank you very much. Hey, great. I'm not surprised your worker worried about letting you go. You've got a wonderful voice. Thanks. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Rutherford as Denny Doherty. <laughs> Poppers with that great California beach sound. Oh, the smell of the sea, the dudes on their boards, the babes on the beach. Oh, yes. I was into that whole surf thing myself, you know. But it's not the same trying to catch a wave off the seafront at South End, is it? <laughs> Part two, we've got a star guest who will be transformed into an artist who's duetted with the likes of Gladys Knight, Dionne Warwick, and Greek Minister for Culture, Nana Mascori. And I bet that's got you reaching for your big book of songbirds, hasn't it? Have a quick think while you're making a cup of tea, and I'll see you in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Stop. 
Without and Their Eyes, the only show that brings you the likes of Billy Fury, Lisa Stansfield, Denny Doherty and me. Unbounded star talent and me. And we've got another two top star guests to come and more me. Hey, remember that bloke I was talking about, the one who duetted with all those famous songbirds? Well, who did you think it was? Elton John, Neil Diamond, Keith Harrison, Orville? Well, if you picked any of those, you were wrong. So let's meet the man who knows, star guest number four. I'm a jig dyer in a local mill in my hometown, Burnley. I dye all different kinds of cloth. I work four 12-hour shifts, and then I have three beautiful days off. When I'm not at work, I'll, obviously, I like to come home, uh, relax, uh, spend time with my family, and my family life is very, very precious to me. When I found out I got on the show, I was lost for words. And then the uh, lady on the other end of the telephone said to me, are you all right? And I just couldn't believe it. Being on Stars in Their Eyes is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and I really do hope it brings better things for me and my family. He's a footballing family man, and tonight he's hoping to score a vocal hat-trick. It's Leslie Snake. <laughs> Your family is very important to you, aren't they? Definitely, Matthew. Yeah. Definitely. And it's your wife who applied, wasn't it? Yes, my wife, uh, Laura, and my brother-in-law, Duncan. That's right. And it was your wife that was in the film there, wasn't it? Definitely. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Definitely was, yeah. Now, tell me how your workmates have been about this. Uh, when I first told them, uh, they just gave me a load of stick. Thought it were a wind-up. Did they? Oh, yeah. Yeah, thought it were a And how have they been since? Uh, now they know I'm coming on the show, uh, they've been absolutely brilliant. Have they? They've been really supportive? Yes, definitely, yeah. Great. It is fantastic how people are like that, aren't uh, yeah. they? Especially yeah. about this show, I'm telling you. I want to raise the profile of this singer that you're going to be because uh, he's more important than he appears to be, isn't he? That's right, How, yes. would, how old would he be now? He'd be in his 60s. And uh, he's, uh, how important is he in, uh, in the musical firmament? Well, I do believe he's the third most popular recording artist after Elvis Presley and Frank Sinatra. That's right, and he also holds a record on the US album charts, doesn't um, he? I'm led to believe it's about 490 weeks. Tell us who you are going to be, Leslie. Well, tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Johnny Mathis. Johnny Mathis! The man with a voice like velvet. Tonight, singing live, Leslie Slate is Johnny Mathis! And 
That is a great transformation, you know. <laughs> you look just like it. And I'll let you into a little secret as well. Johnny Mathis is one of my favourites, you know. You see? Yeah, and it's always a joy to me when one of my favourites comes on here and is just like the real thing. Thank you. And you were. Thank you, Mathis. Ladies and gentlemen, Leslie Snape as Johnny Mathis. <laughs> Thank you, Leslie. <laughs> well, we might have seen four top performances and you might think you've seen the winner, but stop. Don't make your mind up just yet because we've still got star guest number five to come. Not only is this lady a great singer, but she runs her own little zoo at home. My name's Samantha Belshaw. I'm 25 years old and I come from Taunton. The people that share the house uh, are not of a human nature. Lovebirds to miniature dwarf Russian hamsters to inanimate pigs. And my favourites have to be the chinchillas that I breed. Sometimes I think I get more sense out of my animals than I do some of the people I meet. The person I'm going to be tonight, she's got the most amazing personality. You can see there's not one moment where she's not really enjoying what she's doing. And that's exactly how I feel when I sing. Winning isn't really an important factor. It's getting the opportunity to do my best is, is all the reward I need. She sings to her animals, but tonight she's singing for us. Please welcome Sam Belshaw. <laughs> so what is it you like so much about animals? Why are they better than humans? Probably the fact that it's unconditional love. Definitely. <laughs> we can give you that here. Because you've been a bit of an animal yourself in your time, haven't you? Well, I once worked for a theme park, and I must admit, that's the fastest way to go off small children, especially when they tug your tail. Because <laughs> <laughs> you were a fox in the theme park, weren't you? Absolutely. I thought we'd better explain that, <laughs> obviously. Uh, no, it was your family who spotted uh, your talent, wasn't it? Yeah, my mum, bless her. Um, if it wasn't for her spotting me doing the person I'm going to be tonight, mm -hmm. I probably wouldn't be here now. And where did she spot you singing? In the car. You do a lot of singing in the car. Now and then. Just give us a couple of clues as to who you are going to be. Right, she's an American lady and she's had an enormous hit with this number that I'm going to be doing this evening, very recently, and originally it was a big hit for Joni Mitchell as and, well. And she's a bit of a gospel singer. I wonder if you know who you're going to be. Who are you going to be? Well, Matthew, tonight I'm going to be Amy Grant. Amy Grant! <laughs> Performing Joni Mitchell's classic folk song tonight, singing live, Sam Belshaw is Amy Grant! The paper that you see at the top of the line The pink hotel, a boutique and a swinging hot spot Don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you've got to do Charged all the people 25 bucks just to see them. Don't it always 
go that you don't know what you've got till it's gone. Play paradise and put up a parking lot. Great. I bet you don't know which to choose now, do you? Animals or audiences? You see, and you will have a choice after that. <laughs> and you look sensational as well. Thank you. Great transformation. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Sam Belshaw as Amy Grant. <laughs> so that's it. We're almost there. We've seen our five-star guests, but only one of them can make it through to our live final. In about a minute, the voting will begin. But before our audience can vote, here's a quick recap of all our star guests and their superb performances. Will it be Father of Three, Freddie King as Billy Fury? I'd never find another you. Or could it be seamstress Caroline Lowe as the soulful Lisa Stansfield? When he used to say, always be Maybe it's the North East's finest. Craig Rutherford as Denny Doherty. Monday, Monday. Monday, Monday. Good keen amateur footballer Monday, Leslie Snape be our finalist as Johnny Mathis. And a thousand violins speaking to play. Or last but not least, animal crackers Sam Belshaw as Amy Grant. There they are, they've all done themselves proud, but only one can be tonight's winner. Audience, cast your votes now. While our audience vote, let's hear from our star guests on how it's gone and what it's been like. Brilliant, electric, absolutely fabulous. To be honest, I just, I can't, words can't describe what it feels like. You have to get up and do it yourself to know. First um, line, I always thought I went a bit flat in so I was sort of being very conscious of that. So it was like, I think I was putting too much effort in, actually. Soaking up the atmosphere, it's, it's great. Still nervous. I can't believe it's all over now, <laughs> but uh, I think if somebody put a microphone in my hand, I'd be quite happy to go back. They've all got their fingers crossed. Is it Billy Fury, Lisa Stansfield, Denny Doherty, Johnny Mathis, or Amy Grant? And the winner is... Denny Doherty! Gobsmacked. <laughs> <laughs> You've that's taken you by surprise, hasn't it? Yeah, it really has. Really why, why has. Why would that be? They're just all fabulous people back there, that's why. I mean, oh. uh, they're a nice bunch of people. But it's a well deserved win, you know. Thank you. Yes. No wonder your work. We're worried about losing you. <laughs> could be off now. This could be the end of the forklift truck driving. <laughs> you could do both at the same time. No, don't do both at the same time. It only gets you into trouble. <laughs> How are you feeling? You're shocked. Right. <laughs> just shocked. <laughs> yeah. Just shocked. You think you'll be able to do it again? I think so, yeah. Hey, this has got your, your breath back. Yeah, get your breath back. And you can get your mates back as well <laughs> for thinking you were going to tip up as, the, as a big bird. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for another week. We've found our winner from amongst five great talents. Craig will be joining our other live finalists in a, a couple of weeks' time for the Stars in the Rise live final. And I'm off backstage to surprise all our star guests with a few glasses of bubbly, but first with a wonderful performance. We've got just enough time to enjoy the Californian sounds of Craig Rutherford singing live as Denny Doherty. Well done. Good night. <laughs>
Monday, Monday Can't trust that day 